This one's going to be a quick one for Vim users. If you ever open a file and you forgot to give it pseudo permissions and um, you know you want to save it later on, this is what you can do here. So for example, if I open a, uh, a uh, file here in our uh, root directory and stuff like that. So we open our host file here, for example. And if you want to uh, save it, uh, let's say we edit something here. So we call this one test1 and then we save it um, right with the W here. They'll say it's read only at the bottom here, so you can't save it because you need pseudo permissions. So one way to around that is if you do uh, manually the W here, and when you uh, external call with sudo command, and we we'll use T, and the current file is um, that it represents a was a percent sign. So this current file here, and you hit enter, and I'll tell you to type in your password. So it's typing our password, and there you go. You hit enter again, enter, and then it saved it. You can confirm it by uh, quitting out of it, so we'll do a force quit here. And if we open it again, it'll actually save that file or save that line that we uh, added, right? So that's how you do that. Now it's kind of tedious to you know do this manually ourselves every time. Um, so if you want to put that into your VimRC, which let's say we do that here. So open up your VimRC, and um, this is the line that you want to add in here. So all you do is map, what was that, map leader key uh, to, was that, I call this one leader sudo, so leader key and sudo. If you don't know what the leader key is, it's basically your uh, backslash key. So you do backslash sudo uh, during the file. So you type in backslash and sudo during the file, and it'll actually write out, uh, you know, that command here. So the command is pretty simple that we just did. We did, uh, was a command w and then uh, was that uh, external call of sudo and t in the current file and then we hit enter twice so there you go that's the command for that and that's how you would use it all you do is hit backslash and sudo right anyways um, how do you do this here so for example if we uh, do that again let me uh, clear out the timestamp for sudo here clear that thing and if we do that again so vim uh, etc host here and we'll say test two this time. So test two, right? So you can't do it, you know, writing like this, like just uh, write uh, with, uh, was a command W? It still won't work. But if you do, was that backslash and then sudo or leader key and sudo, you'll see it'll tell you type in your password here. And there you go, hit enter and you're done. So that's a little bit more convenient if you don't want to remember it, just put it into your, um, you know, your VimRC here. Um, and you can execute that sucker real quick. Anywho, that's it for that one. Pretty simple.